Uh, what's up, guys? Alex here, AJNashville.com, here with my trusty loan officer assistant, Mr. Jeff Perry. Um, if this video is kind of crooked, it's because I stepped on my tripod. <laughs> Literally stepped over to turn this thing on and stepped on it. So um, don't worry about that. We're going to do an episode um, basically where we're talking about large deposits. Obviously, when you're purchasing a new home, having large, unusual deposits is something that's frowned upon. Um, everything needs to be sourced. It needs to be seasoned. Uh, we need to be able to show where it came from and where it's going, obviously, and it has to have a little bit of time in the account. Now, unique things like tax returns, stuff like that, that's acceptable forms of um, large deposits. You know, if you get six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 back for your tax returns, uh, we could source that by saying, hey, it's from the IRS. Um, getting $10,000 from Joe Bob down the road, eh, can't really source that. Joe Bob's got to show where that money came from. So, like I said, we're going to do our little video, make it entertaining, make it fun for you guys. This is an educational piece, but we do want to make it fun. Um, no, you cannot <laughs> deposit your illicit matches. It's funny you say that, Ryan. So, here we go. We're going to get started. Well, what's up, Jeff? What's going on? There's my deposit money, my down payment that you asked for. It's all right there. Where did this come from? Is this cash? I mean, it's the envelope. You said down payment, right? Alex. Dude, do you not like cash? I love cash. I ain't never met However, a man that didn't like his lettuce. We have to show, we have to document where this came from. That came from underneath my mattress. I've been saving it since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Right. We have to document it. Okay, so. Docu I just handed it to you. No, you need a document, document with it? it? Here. Been shown Let me see your you pen. Know. I'll write down on it what you, need, what you need to say. He's like, give me that money back. What do you need to say? You said I need to document it. You want me to write something on it? No, it, it would have it had to have been in your bank account. We'd have to see where it came from. Not to mention it would have had been sitting in there for at least 60 days. So what is what is that called in the bank? It's world? called seasoning. Seasoning? So sourcing. You can season this? But I'll tell you what, it'll make your shit funny. <laughs> but if that's what you're into, go ahead. As long as you got my down payment and you document that. Yeah. We, we can't use it like that, Alex. Now, if it was a gift and we could document where the gift came from, then we could use it. Well, hell, I could document the gift. I, I got 1500 of it. I sold B Joe Bill down the road. He bought one of my, my cars. He's pulling it out from the trailer today. But he bought one of my cars. He gave me 1500 of that. You going to tell me I'm going to hand you that cash and you ain't going to take it from me? Did he give you any documentation on Well, hell yeah. I wouldn't sell Joe Bob anything without a document. Okay, so maybe I can use 1500 of this. Okay, so pull fifteen hundred out, and then we'll write the document on the rest. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, Alex. I, I can't. That's that's fraud. What? Yeah, I can't, that ain't fraud. I can't with do doc that. Look, you said a gift, right? Right. Okay. Well, my mama Joe, I'll give her the money. She's got a checking account down there at the credit union. She'll go ahead and write me a check, and boom, we'll be done. Right. It doesn't work that way. None of this works that way. How does it not? You it said doesn't. document. It's, I'm gonna write a document it's not about it. The where it actually came from at that point. So yeah. If we what if I sold my chain? Look, you want a chain? <laughs> Let's document this. $8,500 is yours right now. Write me a document. It doesn't work that way. Well, goddamn. How does it not? It just doesn't. We can't source it. Yeah, I told you it's right there in your hand. <laughs> but it's not in your bank. You don't want to buy a chain? Any large deposits, we would actually have to source any large deposits. Any abnormal deposits, you make $2,000 a month. That's a lot of money where right, I'm from. Right, it's a lot of money. Now, if you're depositing $10,000 into your account, but you want to make $2,000 a month, right. that's an abnormal deposit. We'd have to source where that came from. Okay. And it would have to have been seasoned Buy my for chain. 60 days. Buy my chain, Jeff. That chain will look great on you. Come it here. Come here. Let me see your head. Come here. That chain will look real good on you. I didn't mean to mess up your hair. I know you're sensitive it, it, about it. It doesn't work that way. Man, I'm sorry. We can't do that. Well, I'm trying to figure out where the hell the hillbilly got an Apple Watch from. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as you see, um, any large deposits have to be documented. We've got to show where they came from. We've got to show um, that they've been in your account for a while, that they're not new funds. If it is a gift, we need to verify it from the gifter. So the person that gives it to you, we have to have a document saying, hey, I'm giving them this money. They have to be a person of interest. It can't be a person that just pops up and says, hey, you know, I've known you for a month and a half. I'm going to give you 10 grand for no reason. Um, it's got to be a family member, someone close to you, somebody that we can track and say, yes, this is a lifelong friend, something like that, especially if you're using FHA. Uh, they're really, really hard about documenting that information. So if you get some extra money, 
Make sure we document it. If you sell something while you're purchasing your home, make sure you document it. If it's a Craigslist ad, take that in a bill of sale. Bring it to your loan officer. Make sure they have that. In the meanwhile, um, make it a great day. Jeff, I want my chain back. Come on. Cough it up. Go ahead and hit finish on that thing. We'll see you guys. Have a great day.